Welcome to the future of robotics. Researchers at Tianjin University in China have just unveiled a humanoid robot that's powered by human brain cells. Yes, you heard that right, a robot with a brain grown in a lab. This isn't just any robot. Instead of following pre-programmed commands, this cutting-edge machine learns and adapts in real-time using electrical signals and sensory inputs. Developed alongside the Southern University of Science and Technology, this robot uses a revolutionary brain-on-chip system to perform tasks like grasping objects and avoiding obstacles. The robot mentioned in the post resembled a large, programmable smart robot for kids that comes with voice functionality. Dubbed the world's first open-source brain-on-chip intelligent complex information interaction system, this technology represents a leap towards hybrid human-robot intelligence. Imagine robots that can think and learn like humans, sounds like sci-fi, but it's becoming reality. So, are we on the brink of a new era where AI and human brain cells merge? This latest breakthrough has been described as a brain on a chip, combining stem cells with a computer chip to enable the robot to learn and adapt rapidly. Unlike traditional robots that rely on preset programming, this humanoid robot uses its brain implant to process information and navigate its surroundings more intuitively. This innovation highlights the incredible potential of biological systems in technology. Experts believe that these brain-on-chip robots could revolutionize medical science, potentially aiding in the treatment of neurological conditions by repairing damaged brain circuits. However, this advancement also brings ethical considerations, as the line between biological and artificial intelligence continues to blur. But that's not all. Just days ago, scientists in Japan made headlines by grafting living human skin onto a humanoid robot, giving it a more lifelike appearance. This new skin can smile, sense its environment, and even heal itself if damaged. Scientists are developing new methods to make robots appear more human-like by attaching lab-grown skin. This breakthrough, pioneered at Tokyo University, involves using collagen-coated robots with drilled holes, allowing the skin to adhere naturally and move realistically. The technology aims to bridge the uncanny valley, where robots appear unsettlingly non-human, potentially leading to lifelike facial expressions. This research, featured in Cell Reports, Physical Science, introduces skin that can self-heal, raising questions about its future applications beyond robotics. Scientists at the University of Tokyo have also devised a method to effectively attach artificial skin to robot faces, maintaining mobility and enhancing the lifelike appearance of androids. This innovative approach involves mimicking human anatomical features such as muscles and ligaments on the robot's surface. Beyond improving Android aesthetics, this technology shows promise for applications in fields like cosmetology and plastic surgery. Using a human facial mold with perforations, researchers applied a gel made from collagen in dermal fibroblast cells, allowing it to permeate the perforations and securely adhere to the mold. This process resulted in a simplified version of human skin that can stretch into expressions like a smile when manipulated by connected rods, thus achieving a more natural appearance. Future advancements are aimed at replicating additional features such as sweat glands, sebaceous glands, pores, blood vessels, fat, and nerves to further enhance the realism of synthetic skin. For instance, similar research at Monash University in Australia has shown that human neurons can learn tasks like playing pong faster than AI, sparking new possibilities in computational intelligence. In March 2021, researchers achieved a groundbreaking advance by developing embryo-like models from skin cells. This international team, including experts from Monash University, has developed a technique that allows these skin cells to be reprogrammed into precursor-like cells. These cells are then cultured to form structures resembling human embryos. This development could significantly impact treatments for infertility and genetic conditions such as cystic fibrosis by providing a new way to study human development and associated conditions. The models also offer insights into why some pregnancies end in miscarriage and how genetic diseases affect embryos. However, the creation of these artificial embryos raises ethical questions. 
The models do not develop beyond 10 to 11 days, and strict ethical guidelines are in place to prevent misuse. While the technology has great potential, it is unlikely to lead to the creation of fully artificial humans anytime soon due to the complexity of human development.